Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Meteorologist Johnny Lively here. This is sponsored by HB Neal Construction, and we need to dive into the radar, which is sponsored by Dana Simmons Real Estate Team. It is awfully active already this morning with these heavy downpours. We're really going to see that pick up throughout the morning, getting into the afternoon hours. 40 to if not 50% coverage is expected today. One to two inches of rain can be possible, and I would be shocked if some isolated areas possibly get up to three inches. Here's a satellite radar the last six hours. Pretty quiet across the state of Texas and Louisiana, but we're starting to see those showers and thunderstorms moving inland, and this is going to give us an active morning getting into the afternoon hours. Looking at the current temperature sponsored by Do Good Credit Union, you can tell that the winds or the flow is out of the south because the warm, moist air is definitely all across the region. I-10 corridor already into the upper 70s like Houston, Beaumont at 75, Orange at 78, and Lake Charles at 78. Even Lafayette is already into the mid-70s. Down towards the coast, we are into the low 80s. Further to the north should be in the upper 60s, but it's already into the low 70s. 70. So you can see that warm, moist air is all across the region. This is going to give us or give the storms the juice they need to have some pretty heavy downpours. Construction, outdoor forecasts, not the best day today. We're going to get the coverage all the way up to 40 to 50 percent this morning and into the afternoon hours. Again, one to two inches of rain can be possible. So anything construction-wise that you're banking on, like pouring concrete, not the greatest day today, and not on Wednesday as well. But as we get into Thursday afternoon and Friday, definitely looking good. This brings us to our upper-level flow, sponsored by Neutron Electrical Services. We can see a ridge just to the southwest of us. This is giving us the flow out of the south, bringing in the moisture to give us some showers and thunderstorms today. But again, on Wednesday into Thursday, we have a really nice front that's going to be moving into our region 70 to 80 percent coverage of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday evening, lingering storms on Thursday morning, and then throughout the day on Thursday, that front will continue pushing offshore, bringing in drier and cooler air into our region, setting the stage for a wonderful rest of the week and a really good weekend. We'll talk more on that here in a second. You can actually see this all in motion, this cold front, so we see it pushing southward. We've got the showers and thunderstorms today. That cold front starts getting into our region Wednesday afternoon, especially Wednesday evening, so really high coverage across the region. Another one to two inches of rain can be possible on Wednesday. Lingering showers on Thursday morning, and then look on Friday, really not much cloud at all. That's because dew points are going to be low, drier air moving into our region. Friday night football, thumbs up. Looks really, really good. This brings us to our rainfall, rainfall outlook today. We know we're going to have the showers and thunderstorms. Really good coverage as the cold front comes in on Wednesday. Lingering showers on Thursday morning. Throughout the day on Thursday, drier, cooler air comes in, setting the stage for a wonderful Friday and into the weekend. But let's talk about today, futurecast-wise, and getting in tomorrow. We know we've got the showers and thunderstorms already. We just checked out the radar. That will continue throughout the morning today. Could see some possible you know, training thunderstorms in parts of Mid-County. That's where we could see two to three inches of rain possible later on this morning. Very similar to what we saw yesterday. Coverage getting up to 40 to 50 percent coverage later on today. Dies down overnight. We lose the daytime heating. As we get into Wednesday again, we'll watch that boundary start moving southward. This is going to give us 70 to if not 80 percent coverage of showers and thunderstorms. One to two inches of rain can be likely again on Wednesday. So we've needed the rain. This is some good rainfall totals that we're seeing. Uh, but again, it has been pretty heavy rainfall. You can get two inches of rain in an hour, it seems. Here's the high temperatures that we're going to see today, sponsored by Switch Electric, mainly into the upper 80s to low 90s. Some areas like Huntsville could, go, could get close to 94 degrees, and then down towards the coast will be into the mid to upper 80s. Low temperatures well to the north of the I-10 corridor will be into the low 70s, like St. Augustine 72, D. Ritter at 73. Houston and Beaumont should get into the mid to upper 70s. Lake Charles, mid 70s, and then down towards the coast, you will be into the low 80s. So you can tell we still have that warm, moist air coming in overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Gabrielle, it put on a show the last 24 hours. We've seen this rapidly intensify into a Category 4 hurricane, 140 mile per hour wind steel. What we will see is Gabrielle continues to go out to sea, but Gabrielle actually has peaked out, and we're going to see this kind of start weakening in the next 24 to 48 hours. And you can see on the satellite uh, presentation right now, Gabrielle is still looking pretty healthy. I mean, that is a well-defined eye, what we call a stadium effect. It looks like you're in an NFL stadium if you were inside that eye. Very powerful storm. 
Good news is this is the type of hurricane we like to see going out to sea, not making landfall anywhere. We just watch this on satellite imagery. This also brings us to our tropical outlook. We have two more areas that we are watching. We have Invest 94L, which is in orange, and Invest 93L, which is in red. 93L has a high chance of developing by middle to end of this week into a tropical depression, tropical storm. This should go out to sea, very similar to Gabrielle, but 94L will approach the Bahamas this Friday and then get pretty close to the East Coast as we start getting into Saturday and Sunday. So Bahamas, stormy conditions are possible. East Coast could start getting some heavy rainfall by the end of the weekend. So we will keep an eye on how close 94L gets to the East Coast later this weekend. But one thing is for certain is we're talking about a cold front here locally. That means that the Gulf is shut down the next 7 to 10 days. These two systems, not going to be an issue at all for the Gulf. Here's our seven-day forecast for Southeast Texas. We have the rain today, especially on Wednesday as that cold front moves in Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. Lingering showers Thursday morning, but throughout the day on Thursday, drier and cooler air starts moving in, setting the stage for a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend for our area. Same thing for Southwest Louisiana. We watch that cold front move in. After the lingering showers and thunderstorms on Thursday, we have a wonderful forecast really setting up for us wonderful for Friday night football. Um, so you can't get any better. So thanks for tuning in to our Tuesday morning show. I will see you all again on Wednesday morning. Lucas will have our Tuesday evening update later on this evening. Thanks again for tuning in to Gulf Coast Weather Solutions and have a good Tuesday.